let us solve the question number 15 of exercise 5.2 of chapter 5 and this question says for what value of n are the n terms of two APs first AP is 63 comma 65 comma 67 and the second AP is 3 comma 10 comma 17 equal this means we are asked to find the value of n where the nth terms of these two APs are equal. So let us see how to solve this question. Let the first AP, AP first and that is 63, 65 and 67 and again we let a be the first term and D be the common difference of this AP. So what we see we observe that the first term is A and that is equals to 63 and now we can easily find out the common difference by subtracting first term from the second term and so the second term is 65 and the first term is 63 so the common difference is 2 therefore d is equals to 2 now we can find out the nth term of this ap and that is a n equals to a plus n minus 1 into d and what is a a is 63 we don't know the value of n and d is 2 so we can calculate it easily this is 2 n minus 2 Therefore, this is 2n plus 61. This is nth term of first AP. Let us move to the AP second. We are given AP second and that is 3, 10, 17. So, we let A1 be the first term and d1 be the common difference of ap second and what we observe we see that the first term is a1 and that is equals to 3 and d we can d1 this common difference of this ap we can get by subtracting first term from the second we get 10 minus 3 equals to 7 therefore d1 is equals to 7 now we easily find out the nth term of this AP that is a n equals to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d 1 and a 1 is 3 n don't know and d 1 is 7. Now we can calculate this this is 3 plus 7 n minus 7 and that is equals to 7 n minus 4. So the nth term of the second AP is 7n minus 4 and we are given that both the n terms are equal. So according to the question 2n plus 61 this means uh, the nth term of the 2n plus 61 is equal to 7n minus 4. And we can calculate it easily. This is 7n minus 2n, and this is 61 plus 4. Therefore, 5n equals to 65, and therefore the nth term n is equals to 30. Now we can say that so the 13th terms of these two APs are equal. This is the solution of the question. Thank you.